What's going on, people? So I mentioned something earlier today in a video that has not gone out to anybody except myself. That I was going to be possibly doing a live thing today, and now is that live thing. So basically, as you can see here, there's a bunch of boxes over here, right? Because over the last long, long while, I've just kind of every so often ended up with more than one of something. And then the one that I don't need, I just kind of put it, leave it in the box and just kind of push it off to the side. But it's kind of started to take up a fair amount of room, as you can see here, right? So now I'm going to open these up, see what's in each box, and then get them labeled and whatnot. So I remember where they came from, because I might need to refer to that later. And then figure out what I'm also going to do with them, because I don't need doubles of everything. I mean, honestly, nobody needs doubles of anything for the most part. But I need to figure out what I'm going to do with these, right? And I can't do that unless I know what's in the boxes. So there we go. That's the backstory. And now I can go ahead and do this. But while I'm doing it, feel free to say whatever you have to say, whatever's on your mind or whatever, whatever you feel like talking about. It can be as off topic as you care to be during these live sessions. I honestly just don't really care. I'm mostly just doing it for, you know, some sort of entertainment for myself and the two to three people who pop in and watch, right? So this first box, I feel like there's going to be a lot of these, a lot of 350s. Honestly, not those ones with the old school Nike tape on it, but you know. Okay, so any guesses? Let's see here. We'll find out together, people. It's the thing that I often say. What is and this is, I'm thinking, the, I want to say the Ash Pearl, maybe? Let's see. Yeah, Ash Pearl, got it. This thing, the other reason I need to label these is because in some cases for stuff like this, right, I haven't even worn the pair that I am keeping for myself. So I need to kind of keep that to the side because I did at least wear it during the on feats and stuff, you know? But if I decide to throw it up on eBay or something, I can't label it as like unworn, you know, so that's why I need to keep the actually unworn ones off to the side. And this came from Adidas. All right. So that's worn down and there's going to be a whole bunch of this, you know, a bunch of these boxes to go through. I mean, it's honestly, it's really no more than like my normal poorly pickup videos, you know what I'm saying? But uh, in this one, another 700. Okay, I don't know what this one is. This should be a pair of Wave Runners, right? So, but yeah, that Ash Pearl, as far as like the live review portion of this, that is like the worst one of the Ash series because there's like the Ash Stone and the Ash Blue, I think, right? Which... Actually, it was probably in these other boxes, because if I recall correctly, I did get more than one of each of those, but yeah. So, opening up here. This is from Well Gosh. All right, fair enough. So that means that's one of those overseas retailers, right? And so this right here, right? Nobody's new to this, or this isn't new to anybody, I should say. But it's the 700 Wave Runner, right? And I've gone through, what, two or three reviews of these things, and they're just not really, they're not getting any better, in my personal opinion. You know, sometimes, like, you see something a couple times, and it makes you like it a little bit more each time. With this, though, I still feel the same as, like, the first time I saw them, like, the first time I saw somebody with them, or the first time I saw pictures, whatever, that might, I mean, maybe that was the same thing, I don't know. But yeah, I just can't get into this. Like it is, it is not good, you know, visually speaking. I don't remember what they feel like to wear them or whatever. Cause I think I, I mean, I only wore my pair the one time. Maybe I'll bring them out again or something. It's been a long while, but yeah, I just don't see what all the hype is over these things, you know? Like the color combination isn't even like that amazing. I could see how like, there's room for potential or whatever, but just as it is, I don't think it's all that serious, you know? I don't see what people are getting all worked up over about these. But, you know, it's each their own. I mean, if you like something, you like something, right? What does it matter if I like it or not? I'm not you. I'm not buying your stuff. You're buying your stuff. So, therefore, you're the only person that has to like it, right? 
think we can all agree on that. All right, this box is not opened at all. Let's see what's going on here. I'm not sure where it comes from because I didn't really read it either. But, and it's a, oh, okay, well, that's an, a somewhat of a surprise. It's a Jordan box. Actually, I do need that still, don't I? I'll just have to make a mental note of this. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh. This will be a finish line purchase then. So this right here, it is the playoff 12, the 2022 playoff 12, right? Because to my understanding, they came out, yeah, I mean, maybe more than once, but at least once, like a long while ago. Is there like a nap in here? How did that happen? But uh, anyway, so this right here, playoff 12, this one... I, would, I guess this one is a keeper then, right? Because I do like my 12s. I don't think anybody doesn't know that. But this one right here, I mean, I'm cool with the look. Like I said in the review, it's not amazing because it is just still plain black and white, but it works, right? A lot better than like the white and black, you know, because then it's just mostly white and I'm not really, not really so into that, right? But this one is cool, and I did get that third pair, which is going to my dad, because that pair was a 10 and a half, because, you know, I wasn't paying enough attention, which I didn't learn anything from that mistake, because I did the same thing, like, a week or two ago with those Alley Cat Gel Light 3s, and got those in the wrong size. So, I gotta start paying more attention, you know what I'm saying? But, either way, these are cool, though. Cool enough. Where do they stand in my overall 12 lineup? That is yet to be determined. I honestly just don't know, really. Let's see. So that's going to be finish line. All right. So, but let's keep on going here. Only got a couple more of these. Well, that's a lie. Got like eight, eight more, six more, something like that. So opening up this one here. Go ahead, get this tape out there. See what's happening. It's like Christmas, you know, but like if you bought all the stuff for yourself and then you just never opened it until like seven months later, right? Yeah. So it's like a very weird Christmas. Where did this come from? Sneakers and stuff. Okay. What is oh look at that? They got some of this what do you call that? Can't this weird plastic tape, you know, it's like super durable or whatever. What do you call that? Well, it's kind of like a zip tie in a way, but it's not. But I am wondering what. Oh, yeah, I, I think I know what this is. I'm going to guess the utility grind. I think I did win two raffles on those, right? Yeah. So, oh, right, because this, this looks a little big. Yeah. But for my liking, because with the Jordan 12s, right? So backing up, yeah. This was a sneakers and stuff raffle. Was it a raffle? I think, yeah, it would have been a raffle because that's how they do things. I wanted to make sure I got them, you know, and I felt like even though not anybody was really talking about these, when it comes to like stateside things, right, and the foot lockers and such, a lot of people like to just go buy stuff because why not, right? And I didn't want to deal with having to go through that. So I was like, well, let me just put this raffle in over here, right? And so, for whatever reason, I didn't, didn't put in on an eight and a half like I normally would. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I just wasn't sure if I'd like them at all, because they were a little weird from the picture. But honestly, like, these right here are actually pretty nice as far as, like, how they feel. You know, I do like that. Still not a huge fan of this big red strip going on on the side. I think it kind of just messes up the visual or whatever. I do like the shadowing that they did for, like, the letters and the Jumpman on there, though. And then this grind utility thing on the bottom, that is a little out of place. So, and, and you have some nice suede on here, but, like, it's also just weird to have suede on here, right? So this is a, a very odd shoe because there's some cool things about it, but, like, they're cool individually. Like, all together, it's, it creates a weird, a weird combination, you know? But they're, they're not bad, you know? It's just, 
this is definitely like not one of like the ones you know like when i think of like my jordan 12 collection this is not going to be one that really just like comes to mind it's like, oh yeah i gotta wear that things like the alternate gym reds yeah of course those wolf gray ones yeah of course right those two are like fantastic and so they're like way up there at least as far as things go for me even the, like the dark concords the one that's like mostly black like a little bit of purple you know the undertaker 12s as i call them or the evil 12s if you're a new japan kind of person what's going on here okay yeah those were cool but eh, some stuff just yeah, you know, it's not terrible like I like I always say, but it could be better, right? This is also a 350. So let's see which 350 is it. So far, it's been two for two, right? Two 350s, two 12s. And so now the 350s are back in the lead, and this was Hibbit. Hmm, Hibbit, Hibbit, Hibbit. Uh, I'm thinking Carbon or Sand Tope? Tope? Tope, maybe. I'm thinking Carbon or Sand Tope on these. Going by like, the fact that they came from Hibbit. Sometimes I have a loose idea of what came from where, but... And... Is that, was that right? Is that what this is? Yeah, cool. This is the Sand Topes, right? T-A-U-P-E. So this one, and it kind of fell down by the wayside, but this is one of those ones that comes with the, the infinity laces, right? But it comes with like an extra pack of like standard laces if that's more your style, right? Which is cool. I get it, you know? But speaking on this, right? You got the little clay sort of color on the outside, on the upper outside, Kind of just like a dirty sort of color on the bottom and then it looks a lot like the earths on this side now this one right here i said that i wasn't like a big fan of it back when i got them and first looked at them and looking at them now i can stand by that i honestly i think a lot of it is just like this part up here the, this clay color but i don't know as like if they didn't have that then they would look at least from what I can recall, a lot like the Earth's, and that's been done. So you got to have something different, but it's just an odd combination. I don't know. I'd have. I'm curious. I might have to go back and like look at the video that I made, at least for the statistics, to see if anybody has actually been like watching that. Because some videos, when I put them up, they'll be watched a little bit, like you know, around the time that they're made and stuff, and then some of them just kind of like die off, right? And then nobody watches them but something like this well the 350s in general sometimes those they just kind of hold on you know and people just keep watching for ever basically and they'll get like a couple views every day but i don't know i don't really i also don't get any comments i don't think on this one so maybe a lot of people aren't really into the sand taupe color i don't blame them so going by the red tape on the side of here this is going to be an Adidas package, right? So let's see what is in this thing. Um, they, I don't think they do this anymore. I think now it's just like plain boxes, you know, just up. and another 350. I bought a lot of 350s, like a lot. I mean, that's no news to anybody, I guess, but still, like. So far, like everything of the ones that I've opened, over half of them, that's what they've been. So, so I've got no guesses whatsoever as to what this thing could be because, again, it's a 350 and it came from Adidas, so that doesn't really rule anything out. Except for, actually, you know what? Unless it was like a restock sort of thing, because usually, like, if I get something from Adidas, like, that's the one that I open and keep. So now I'm intrigued. Hmm. Any guesses though? And what is this? The Zion, right? I believe that's what this one is. Yeah. This is the Zion. I if you had asked me if I had more than one Zion, I probably would have said no. And now I'm wondering where did I get the pair that I kept for myself? Because 
I definitely have worn that. I don't know. That's now I'm a little curious about some things. I might have to go backtrack through through the archives and see where stuff came from or whatever. But this is one that I do actually like a fair amount, you know. I wasn't sure how I'd feel at first because the color just seems a little odd, but once I got up close on it, and I saw it's kind of like it's got this little chocolatey brown sort of thing going on over here, you know. Same thing with on on this side. But you do have this like little gray area up here, which is a little weird to me. But this one I do actually like a fair amount more than I expected expected to. But it's it's also one that I don't see people really talking up a lot. So sometimes my taste is de definitely not an indicator of what's popular or anything. It's like often the opposite. But with 350s, regardless, people are usually going to be fairly into them, right? Let's see. Click on that. Okay, cool. But yeah, so yet another 350. Hopefully there's some variety in here soon. Well, there's got to be because these next two boxes have like Jordan things on them. So definitely going to be some variety there, right? Though overall, not as much, you know? kind of makes me look like I'm one of those like people that only buys like the, the hyped up type shoes or whatever which is definitely like not the case but if anybody was like seeing me for the first time and it was like right here through this live it's definitely painting a picture that is not at all accurate other than the fact that I do get a lot of 350s right and I like 12s but there's a whole other world that's missing you know so this is this must be one of those 13s, right? Like a Jordan 13, which is not really my thing, but okay, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, though the one thing that I will always remember about this is the little skit type thing that I put into the video, which that video kind of rubbed some people the wrong way, I guess, because like since this is such a, like an iconic release and like is something that is a must have and all that crap, and I just kind of like looked down on it more or less because i was like it's not that great you know it looks fine don't get me wrong but i mean the hype that was going on i just didn't get it but you know i'm me so of course i'm not going to get it but either way these right here like just take them at face value right i mean they're not bad right i don't think anybody's going to say that but it's still like not a thing for me because for one i don't really do anything higher than 12 that's kind of i feel like that's that one was good and so i just stopped there right like that was like the pinnacle to me so anything after that is just you know everybody else can have that but who was it keep pushing kicks right he was super into these and was like talking them up to everybody that would listen to him and so he's like dude you got to get a pair you got to try them out blah 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 so i got the what was what do you call it like the early access sort of thing where like they're but it's like wide open access. You just kind of have to be quick, but it's like before release date or something. What, whatever you call that. I did that through sneakers and that's how this happened, right? So yeah, I do know some two dudes that work that wear this, this size and I haven't seen either of them wear these. So maybe, maybe one of them would be into this. We'll have to see. I'll have to find that out tomorrow. Let's see. So this was nike cool yeah so maybe one of them will want want that and i can get this off my hands or whatever clear up some space the biggest thing is getting these like actual boxes out because the boxes obviously take up like all kinds of space like for no reason okay another one remember this like the just do a tape that everybody's all worked up over many moons ago and for good reason don't get me wrong it was, it was a terrible idea but that's the thing people were into. So they, as in Nike, they were into putting this tape on everything. I get the branding situation, right? Like you want people to know what's going on or whatever. But at the same time, it can put a target on things. So this, okay, now we got something different, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember this now. This is a similar story to the last box. It's the, what, is, what was this thing called? It was a fire red, maybe, I think. This Jordan 5 right here. Yeah, this, I, I remember buying these because I do like fives, but I was like super underwhelmed to say the least. 
for a second it looked like there was some bleeding off onto like this white area making it pink but i think that's really just like the light and like the all this red in here but yeah so this right here i saw it and i thought to myself these don't seem that great but maybe i'll get them and then like my brother he's he doesn't have any of these maybe he'd appreciate them because they also came out around his birthday i think like right before his birthday is like valentine's day so i thought you know what i can get these i'll see what's up with them and then i'll just like give them to him and then they just kind of found themselves under a box and under another box which was also under two more boxes and as you saw under a lot of boxes so now i'm finally seeing them for the first time and this is now how long I don't know where like the little date thing is on here from the last five review. I know that I had to work to get to it, but this was some time ago when these came out. And I can say that all this waiting time to see what they were, what the fuss was all about. Yeah, I don't get it. But I think these also sat for a long while too. So maybe a lot of people weren't so into them. I don't know. But there you go. The, I think it's called the Fire Red 5. I, that sounds right, but honestly, it was so long ago, it could have been anything. And how did I get that? I I don't even remember, really. I am I want to say, like I was saying before, that it was the same as that pair of 13s where I just jumped on the web page. Actually, it might have been during that, what was that, the documentary thing, the last dance that they were doing whenever that was happening. It might have been during that right or was, or was that the maybe that was those 13s that came out then i don't know i don't know it all kind of runs together i'm thinking this is an adidas box so let's go ahead and see what we have in here because i know they do the red tape you know so let's get that open then after this i got to actually like break these boxes down throw them out you know and then i will have the space back so I can move a little easier through that section of the room, right? And without having like nine, well, two stacks of boxes in the way, you know, makes the hassle get into something. What's in there? Oh, the closet, I guess. 350s, right? 350s. Again, it's like a million of them. It's like one, two, three, four. This is the fifth one, the fifth pair, right? Okay. And this is the Ash Pearl, right? So the one thing that was kind of weird about this one to me, like, and it's not going to show up in this camera because this webcam is like not super great, or maybe it's StreamYard that's not super great, or it could be a combination, you know, two things not doing so great, not going to give you good results. But either way, on this side, you can, and you can see it more in the video if you ever watch it. Don't go out of your way to though; it's not that serious. It's got like this little frosted look in a way because like the the lighter colored speckles on here just kind of makes it look like there's like a little bit of frost on there, which is weird, you know. It's kind of a cool look in some ways, but ultimately I'm still not like a big fan of this one. I don't know what it is. It's just something about it, you know, but I don't know if I've I don't know if I've worn my pair of these either. I don't know if I've worn any of the Ash series actually because there's three of them, you know. I'll have to go back through and check, you know, but it's not bad, though. I mean, I wouldn't say it's like one of the worst 350s or anything, because that section is definitely like, you, you know, when you see it. But this one, it's fine, you know, just not a personal favorite or anything like that. But, and then it's got that big red type strip on the side, which some people might not be into. Kind of depends on your preference or whatever. It makes them stand out a bit, right? But maybe you don't want that. Maybe you just want it to be a little more subtle. So if that's what you want, you're probably wearing the, the wrong type of shoe. You know, you should be wearing a 350. You should wear like a, a Vans, you know, a Skecher or something if you want to not stand out. So let's see what's going on there. Okay, cool. All right. Now, moving along, moving along. Put that on to the side. And this is a large box. I don't know what this is all about. It's from Finish Line, though. So what would I have bought from Finish Line that isn't opened? 
Because even like when I do the reviews and stuff, if I have multiple pair, like I'll at least open it for that, right? But sometimes the boxes, the second pair, or whatever, shows up. Jesus, like this is like another three fifty. It's a whole lot of these things happen here. But yeah, sometimes like the second box just shows up later or something, I guess, and then you know why bother pulling it back out again? Okay, this. Damn, this box is, you know, doesn't really want to open either. So that's not a pleasant thing. And I don't want to, like, mess it up or whatever, but it's certainly, something's caught on something, you know? I don't know. Might have to come back to this one. Because it's not wanting to open. But from what I can see, what is that? Oh, this is going to be like the natural or something like that. One of those. There we go. Is this? Wait. What is this? Uh, this might be. Actually, yeah, I think it is the. I think it is the natural. Right? Is it? Let's see. Oh, okay. I meant the light. But I was thinking like the natural was the light. The natural was like that yellowish color that looked like unfinished cake batter. The light, because I saw like the weird textures on this one. The light is the one that changes colors in the lights. You know, like, it doesn't work with like the the black lights or whatever. From what I recall, it doesn't. Yeah, but if you take it outside, then it'll change a little bit of the color or something. And then actually, you can kind of see it just a little bit. But the the bulk of it happens when you're actually outside. Because on the inside, you know, I can get the little pink part to show up just a little bit in there, right? But it's kind of a cool effect, you know what I'm saying? It's just that, like, the color choice that they went with was the thing that I couldn't get into, right? Because it's just, otherwise, it's just, like, so plain. It's like, what's what's so special about this, right? But, yeah, there's, there you go. There's, like, the pink side in there. Now you can see that, kind of. And I think I showed it off in, like, the little shoes that I wore for the day video because at the time of the review I didn't know that's how these things work right but yeah this one this one is not a favorite like not at all I mean it's not terrible well actually you know what I will say it is kind of terrible sometimes I just try to be nice you know what I'm saying but sometimes it's better to just be accurate did I spell that right yeah and this one I would like to see them do that, you know what I'm saying? Like, on a different colored pair. Because just like the white thing, eh, it's overdone, in my opinion. And I don't care so much for it. This is a box from a few since 2009, is what they say. Let's get this thing opened up over here. Maybe. It's a very strange box they've got going on. There we go. You know what's in here? Yeah. Yeah, it's another one. I'm starting to see why I never opened any of these boxes. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so. Oh, let's see. Which one is this? Oh, yeah. This, this brings back some memories. Oh, this thing isn't even... Or maybe I just undid that when I opened it. But this is the Mono Mist. Yeah, Mono Mist. The other one is the Mono Ice, the other one that I have. And these, oh man, I am not, not a fan of these. Like, I mean, for one, the material on the laces, which I have to deal with right now because they just came unlaced, is largely terrible, right? And that one's all weird, so it won't really come around for me. But yeah, so the material on the laces is all weird, so that kind of sucks. And then even past that, you know, try to get it back to how they normally look, at least on the, you know, out of the box. And then even past that, like, the material on the shoe itself is just terrible. Like, I mean, it's it makes for a more roomy fit than, like, your standard uh, 350 or whatever. And I do like that. You know, it's kind of got this little jack lantern sort of thing if you like have a shine a light through there. But I mean, you're never going to see that when you're wearing it because your foot's going to be in there. It's just a cool thing I noticed when I was doing the review. But there is 
I mean, the midsole comfort is there. It's what you would expect. But this, this is terrible, right? This is just not good at all. Yeah. I mean, you know, you want to like something, but sometimes you just can't, right? It's just some things are just not good. And this is one of them. But, oh, well, it happens. So I, I've seen some people that were kind of into, like, the, the mono mist one or the mono ice one, like the blue pair. And, I mean, I kind of get that because, like, the color isn't terrible. Oh, let's label this. Yeah, and I kind of get it because, like, the label, or excuse me, because, like, the color of that one, the blue and the white, that's not bad, right? Blue and white is a solid color combination. But on this particular one, this, it's just so many things are just bad about it that makes you think, why? Why, you know? Okay, so, oh, there's a whole stack, a whole nother stack that I didn't quite notice. But this one right here. These ones are at least out of the box already, so that's going to make things a little easy. Just need to see what they are. And this, okay, it's another pair of 700s, another pair of Wave Runners. This was actually one of the first things that I opened up, right? So second verse, same as the first. I still don't care for this, right? I know a lot of people are into the Wave Runner, and that's your thing. That's your thing, whatever. I'm not one of them. I don't see what's so great about them. And every time I hear people talk about them, they're just like, they say how great they are, but they never really say like what they like about them. They're just like, oh man, you don't like the Wave Runner? I'm like, no, I'm like, dude, you gotta like the Wave Runner. And I'm like, why? I'm like, because it's the Wave Runner. And I'm like, that's this conversation isn't going anywhere. But yeah, so that came from Foot Shop, right? So let me put that on here. Yeah, I, I'm starting to think that Foot Shop might be. I don't know. I don't know if it's just like not a common thing or what, like for people to try with. But I have bought a lot of shoes from them, a lot more than I thought. And another pair of 700s. Is this? What? Hold on a second. Something's. This is a a third pair. What? This is a third pair of these, right? One, two, three, four. So I have the fourth pair. Cause hold on. Let me let me back up for a second. I bought a pair for myself. Well, no, the first pair I bought, I didn't care for. So I didn't do a full review. This, then later I got through on a pair for myself. And so that's the one in there. And I do remember recently winning, is this, winning, winning another raffle, which would account for that one. But I, I'm not quite sure when this one came about. I'd have to go back to my Maybe it might have been my Yeezy Day video or something else, but I know it's covered in one of those reviews. It's not sure where, but I'm starting to wonder why do I have so many Wave Runners at this point? I mean, this is like the last one, you know? I mean, this is also number four, right? But I am, I don't know. Something, something seems weird about that. Maybe, well, gosh. Yeah. One of them came from Well Gosh, so that must have been this one. And right, actually, you know what? I do kind of remember that because I remember I was gonna send one to my brother because I thought you know, he might like one of these things. Maybe you know he seems to be into some weird stuff. And then I remember that there were still two I had to deal with. Okay, yeah, it's kind of coming back to me now. It's all, it's all very blurry on occasion, but as you saw, some of this stuff like I remember pretty well. Now this, ending on a pretty good note, because this is the last 350. This is the last of the Ash series. So we did the Pearl, we did the Stone, this is the Ash Blue. And the Ash Blue is easily my favorite, right? This is just a good 350 in general. It's just at the top as far as that whole model goes. Well, I won't say at the top top, but it's like top five perhaps? Something like that. It's up there. I just like the way they, they have this little, like, blue jean sort of look going on, you know? Like, as far as, like, the different shades of blue slash gray that are in there. Could be a little bit of a green, depending on who you ask. And then they've got this little strip on the side. It's basically, like, the same as the... It's a lot like the... Is it the linens or something? I think it was the linens. Yeah, the linens that look, like, the same but inverted. So they have, like, this beige upper with this, like, blue-gray strip on the side. 
But the advantage to those linens is that they have a 3M strip. These, no, nah, it's just like the standard stuff. But I will say that this one right here, like even without the 3M, which I think it's kind of better that it doesn't have the 3M in this particular case. Yeah, these are solid. This is definitely one of the better ones. Um, now, now that I've said that, I'm curious to see, like, same with, like, that Santo video or whatever. I might have to check some stats of some things later. I mean, I know at the, at the end of the day, like, my 350 videos and whatnot aren't the only ones out there, right? They're not even the best ones out there, even if even for the ones that are not with much competition. But it gives me a good indication, though, of where things stand because a popular one, for the most part, will still pull in some decent numbers, even if your video itself isn't popular. It'll still do well amongst your own other ones, right? So you got to kind of compare across your own board sometimes. There are some differences in there occasionally, some anomalies, if you will. So like my... That remember that black pair that came out recently that had the it had like it was all black and it had like just red letters on the side that said supply 350. That one that was a popular one, right? But that video for me went nowhere, which is fine. I didn't have like a thumbnail that made you want to watch it either. It had a it was a thumbnail that made you think that the person reviewing it didn't really care because I felt that that was more accurate. This right here, speaking of which. The Cool Gray 11, this was this like a finish line thing, I think. I forget where my second pair came from. But either way, I did end up with two pairs of these, right, for somehow. I don't remember how that happened, but I did. And like I was saying before, these, I don't see visually, like, what's so great about them. I get, like, you know, there's a nostalgia thing, so whatever, you know, I wasn't around for that stuff. I just take things on, on their visual side, right? And this one right here, I don't, I don't see it. You know, it's just gray and slightly lighter gray, right? So it's not like visually offensive. Don't get me wrong, but I, if I just saw this in a store, I would think, I wonder how that's gonna sell. You know, but because it is what it is, it moved pretty well. So you know, cool for Jordan, I suppose. That guy can just put out anything at this point if you put it on the right model. It, Almost doesn't even matter how it looks. Remember those those 11s that came out a couple years ago that looked like eggnog? Yeah. I mean, it wasn't an immediate sellout, but it was still a sellout soon after, right? At least in El Paso and various other places where I was like looking just to see if they were gone. But yeah, so this right here, the cool gray 11, it's not bad, you know, but I just, I just don't get it, you know? And this is another one that I have not worn. Where did this come from? Where did this come from? Uh, that's another one that I'll have to do some backtracking on because I, I want to say, I want to say I got a pair from Finish Line, and then I think I got a pair from, yeah, I got a pair from Finish Line because I remember like some dude at work was like, hey, did you check the thing, Finish Line, blah blah blah, and then I had the email, so that's where one came from, and the other one, I'm I'm gonna guess like Champs or Foot Locker. I don't know, because I know I, it wouldn't have been anything where I put an actual effort to get them. You know what I'm saying? All right, and AY, I don't see the hype around the cool grays either. Yeah, it's it's just a big gray shoe, right? I mean, do you what? How do you like them? Like, do you still think that they look fine or like not looking that great? What's your opinion on them? But yeah, it's just. I get that hype drives people to buy certain things. I just bought some Grant Hill 2s the other day, you know. They're not amazing looking, right? But, you know, the inner youth side of me or whatever, remember seeing them back in high school and thinking they were cool. And now that I could get a pair and have them for myself, you, you do sometimes, right? But I'm still not going to talk them up, you know. Even if it's something that I like, it's still, you still got to be honest, right? And still got to call it what it is, which brings me to this, right? The Royalty 12. I'm a huge, huge 12s guy. Like, if you have been following this channel or you just click on the Jordan playlist and scroll through it, you'll see a lot of Jordan 12 reviews. Like, not all of them, right? But over the last, since I started buying 12s in 16, 2016, right? 
because that's when the bulk of my collection started. So back in 2016, I started buying these with the Master 12s. And since then, I thought, I, I guess I could probably say most 12s, right? Because, you know, most men's size, adult size 12s or whatever, like as in over 50%, you know, but not all of them are great, right? And I'll be honest with it. Like in this one right here, it's not, it's not one of my favorites. It looks fine, but it's just like I was saying when I pulled out that playoff pair, I'm not a big fan of just like predominantly white shoes. And I also think just the white and black color combination can be a bit bland. That And like this gold on here is kind of like rubbing me the wrong way. And then past that, I'm not a fan of the interior there. Can you see that? See how it's got like this little waffle sort of stitching thing? You, the camera sucks, right? But in the review, I, I also would have put pictures in there. But yeah, you, I don't know if that's going to show up at all, but probably not. But yeah, I don't like the way they did the stitching in there. They at least didn't put it on the on the bottom of the shoe, like the insole, because like they did that with the, there's a pair of ones. I forget which ones, I think it was the, the handcrafted ones, possibly, where they had that same stitching across the bottom of the shoe. And I was just like, well, why is this happening? But yeah, these right here, and then these white laces, I feel like this is just a terrible option for these, right? The black laces are fine, but I've, now I haven't seen them with the white laces, right? But I just feel like it wouldn't look good because the shoe already looks a little off. And I feel like that would just kind of push it over the edge. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I like 12s, you know? I, would, I opened this box initially, like when I got my pair, the one that I actually did the review on. And, you know, you want to like something, right? But sometimes you just can't, right? Sometimes it's just out of your hands and you just got to deal with it and be honest. So it is what it is. It happens to all of us. So now let's move on and see what's in this last box. It's another 13. This comes from the finish line, according to this receipt here. Any guesses which uh, 13 this is? This is, what is this, the Obsidian? Is that what they called this? Is that right? I'm thinking this is the Obsidian 13. I honestly don't remember what the, what the name was, but that sounds right based on what I'm seeing here. Now, if this had been an Obsidian 12, I would have bought all kinds of pairs of them. Or, well, okay, I would have bought two, you know, kept a pair here, kept a pair in my mom's house. That's my usual thing when I double up. But this much like that last pair of 13s that I had out, it's not making me want to start wearing 13s, you know, because it's not that great, but I do like the color combination, right? I think part of it's just the shoe itself I don't want to wear. I'm already not like a big high top shoe guy, right? I've said that before. And this, yeah, again, like the color, if you throw it on the 12s, no problem, because I do like the colors. But this itself, just as for what it is for model-wise, yeah, I just can't get into it for that real reason. If it was, let's see, I mean, maybe some, I don't know if this would look right on some fives. Maybe, no, well, there's a certain other, maybe some nines. I could see wearing a Jordan 9 in this colorway. I could see that, maybe. Uh, yes, yeah, so some things just don't work for everybody on, like, some models. You know what I'm saying? And this is just kind of one of them. But, like I said, it's mostly, like, down to the model itself. But... Same, same thing as I said before. I have to ask one of those dudes at work and see if like either of them was looking for a pair of these. I do. They are really like soft feeling everywhere, so I do like that, right? I'm not going to complain about the quality. And even for especially for a Jordan shoe, this one's looking overall pretty decent from this quick overview here. But you know, I have my interests, and 13s don't line up with it. I probably bought this because. I want to. I'm gonna assume that I won the raffle thing through finish line, and I bought it so I could get the points, and then hopefully use the points and the karma and whatnot to get through on something that I did want. And I will say that may or may not have happened, but over the course of time, right? Wait, cause when was this? What's the date on this thing? This was 11 two. So no, it wasn't. That's the wrong date. That's. Where is the date on here? 
okay there's a coupon at the uh, at the bottom september 18th last year when these came out right and i will say i've had some pretty good luck overall since then right if you know me you know that i don't really complain about when i don't get stuff i just don't get it and then that i just don't really talk about it because what else is there to talk about but i honestly think that for the most part everything that i've wanted i have got right and so that's again also why i don't complain about not getting stuff because like i get a lot of things right i i'm i've been lucky enough like the raffles and various things and just being paid fairly well that i can get most of the things that i want right well i won't say i can get them but i've ended up with them right because again when it's luck it's not really all on you so it'd be silly to sit here and complain like oh man i'm mad because i didn't get the i don't know this adlet 22 or i'm mad because i didn't get this tie-dye jordan one those are the only things i can think of that i like missed out on in the last like forever right so i don't because it just seems selfish and I like to think I'm better than that. All right, so that's it, right? Yeah, I've covered pretty much everything that was in these boxes. Needed to label this last one so I don't forget where that came from. But that's going to be it for me. And unless anybody happens to have any questions or whatever, feel free to like throw those in there. Otherwise, I'm going to start wrapping this thing up and whatnot so that I can move on with my night. I got a video to, I got several videos to edit. I think I got like five left. Right, something like that. So, from me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Appreciate you stopping in and whatnot. I see there's like people in there. It's pretty quiet, and that's fine. I'm a huge fan of like being in lives and not saying anything. So, I totally get it. I'm that's why I don't press the issue, right? I don't care if you comment or not. I don't care if you click the like or the share or subscribe. None of that stuff really means a whole lot to me, to be completely honest, right? Because it's all just numbers and stuff, right? If you are entertained in some kind of way, that's why you're here. That's enough, right? So, like I said, that's it for me. I got some stuff to do. I'm sure you got some stuff to do, too. So, later, people.